How's it, Ben? Well. You keeping well? No, you should. Come on, man. Uh, no, you should. The reason for me getting involved is it's my duty as the ward councillor you know, to oversee the activities here and to and to um, be involved and represent the public and residents. That's what happened here yesterday. What happened yesterday morning early um, was that an engineering fault at the pump station. It's called 3A. Anyway, the pump station on the lower Congueni, which we all know. It's not our first incidence we've had here of that. There was a severe mechanical failure which resulted in danger to the staff, personnel and to extreme damage to equipment. As an emergency measure, who took the decision to pump, they called in as many vacuum tankers as they could, and they did. There was a huge feature. I mean, at one stage I counted eight, you know, running around, and they were working hard. They tried to reduce, but they couldn't, so they had left with no choice, according to them, to mitigate the danger to the staff and to extreme damage to the main um, electrical system and the main motors. They took a decision to evacuate the water into the Congueni, into the into the estuary, the the, 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 the the sewage water, which which then escalated the, the issue immediately because as it was going into the Congueni, it's got two problems. The Congueni comes down here to where we're standing here now on the beach. That was not open. That was that was been a waiting opening on on, on the mouth, and the water traversed the beach longitudinally, longitudinally down to the main mouth there, which meant it actually isolated the whole beach for access. You know, the whole beach was access. They did came and they did come on insistence and put up signs saying that the beach was out of um, commission. And they also requested the assistance of Frank Cunini and his contractor, the Lifesavers, to assist with informing the public not to enter the water, in fact not to enter the beach. But the problem was that it transverses the there was no actually to cut the whole beach off. Now, um, um, the decision was then taken under the existing permission that's been granted for the mouth to be reopened. Ugu acquired a large excavator which got here late yesterday afternoon and first of all built a bit of a dam over there and then cut through there to get the water out into the sea, to get the, the, the Congreni to drain out to the sea and also to protect the beach itself. The damage to Congreni, this doesn't alter that in any way. The sewage, it's, you, know, you can smell it, you can see it. There's no doubt that it's a severely impacted environmental system. But here we at least to, to start making positive efforts to get the beach back to its... If you think of the glorious photographs that we put out of the videos we put out this weekend of just exactly how great our beaches were looking, this had to be you know, mitigated as soon as we could. And before people started getting perturbed um, um, about whether Margate was a safe beach to so on. But currently what's happened now, environmental fair technicians were here this morning department, from the department, they took samples again. They'll be culturing them and we're looking to the earliest possible chance of being able to open the beach again for safe bathing and recreation.